Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm speaking in a calm manner voice because today is about mindfulness. Today's video is all about how to be your best self by focusing on your mental health. I talk a lot about fitness and how we should be working out and our physical health, but yet our mental health is just as important, if not more important. We all have so much going on in our lives every single day, not only what's going on in the world, but also our own personal problems, our relationships, our careers, our social anxiety. And if you guys have followed me on Instagram, or on YouTube for the past year, I actually have opened up a lot about my anxiety and how it definitely gets the best of me. It's something that I don't love talking about, but when I do talk about it, I feel so vulnerable to you guys. And then I get the responses of you guys being like, oh my gosh, I struggle with social anxiety too. And you would think someone like me doesn't struggle with social anxiety, but I definitely, definitely do. I actually do love opening up about mental health because I think realizing that we're not alone in some of our mental health struggles is so important. Today, I just wanna take you guys through some of the things that I do to make me feel better, to make me feel less anxious, less stressed, and a little bit more calm. Before we get into the video, a big thank you to Oculus for sponsoring this video. We are on week five of the Oculus Move For Real guides. I cannot believe it's already week five. And so it's very fitting that today's video is all about how to feel less anxious and stressed because week five is all about mindfulness. So there are three games a part of the week five blog post. We have guided Tai Chi. We have Trip, the supernatural meditation feature. I think a really big part of why these games help calm me so much is because you really feel immersed and out of your own reality. I'm a beginner meditator, but January 1st, I started my goals of meditating and I've been meditating five times a week, every single morning. I try to let go of every inner thought that I'm having, any stress about work, any relationship issues or anything like that, and really focus on my breath. But the reason that the Oculus Quest 2 is so important and these games are so important is because it also helps visually really imagine you are there surrounded by beautiful nature or wherever the guided Tai Chi takes you, wherever Supernatural takes you. So visually immersed in this crazy world that you are seeing on your Oculus Quest 2 headset. For example, for the guided Tai Chi, there are over 200 guided workouts with over 20 nature settings, especially with Supernatural. There are just so many different beautiful locations that you guys can choose from. So depending on what makes you happy, I would choose where you want to be in the world. So definitely stay tuned because in a few minutes, I will actually show you exactly what some of these games look like. My other quick tips that really help with my anxiety are definitely going for a walk. I think walking and fresh air can really help. You only need to walk for like five to 10 minutes and it just gets your blood moving. And of course, vitamin D is so good for us. Number two, I love lighting a good smelling candles because the Quest 2 really unlocks all your senses. But at the same time, when you're doing these guided meditations or the Tai Chi, lighting a candle next to you really illuminates every single sense you have. Now, this might seem really basic and something that you guys hear all the freaking time but doing something that makes you feel good for me I don't know what it is but doing a face mask actually helps me almost like something I'm like okay at least I'm doing something for myself at least I'm helping my skin I'm getting hydrated or taking a bath and letting your muscles relax any little things here and there can really add up to make you feel like your best self Another huge thing is breath work, especially while you are using the Oculus Quest 2 and these three games of mindfulness. I really want you to focus on your posture, shoulders down and back, opening up your belly to really get all the oxygen flowing. Your breath is so important. And next tip that I love to do is reading quotes. It makes me feel less alone. Once I know that other people have the exact same thoughts I'm feeling, it's some sort of validation. It makes me feel human and like everything is gonna be okay. What I've done sounds very Gen Z millennial of me, but I've actually follow a bunch of different Instagram accounts that have amazing and inspirational quotes. When I'm scrolling throughout my day and I see something unattainable, and then the next thing I see is a quote, it makes me feel so much better and less anxious. Okay, this next one is really obvious, but I think some of the times we forget how obvious and basic it is to make ourselves feel better. So making sure to do one activity that you absolutely love. If reading a good book, watching a good movie, for me it's cooking. Cooking is seriously my de-stressor. There's something about being in the kitchen <laughs> that really, really calms me. Last but not least, do not be too hard on yourself. I think in this day and age, we constantly criticize ourselves because we're constantly comparing ourselves to others online. 
I will definitely do more of these videos on how I stay less anxious and what I do to calm myself. All these things really help, but of course, they're not quick, easy fixes, but they are things that will make us feel our best selves. Focus on your breath as you're watching the next few minutes of this YouTube video. Now it's time to show you guys how exactly you can work on your mindfulness and mental health using the Authors Quest 2. First up, trip. Let's do it. You guys, I am still in my robe right here because before I get dressed, I am gonna do my meditation on trip. You won't need your controller. Feel free to put it down. How do you feel? Honestly, I feel like an eight. Wow, cool, I don't even need my controllers at all. How do you feel? Inspired, calm, relaxed, focused, content, bored, tense. I feel content. Wow, this is really cool. I can do everything with my head, not my controllers. Welcome to trip. <sighs> the experience you're about to have is designed to help you be mindfully aware in the present moment. Today's reflection will help to create a peaceful sense of well-being. Breathe with me. Time your breath with the flow. Connect with your breath, slowly breathing in and out. When you feel relaxed, look into the light and we'll let the next phase of our journey begin. As you float through this space, feel the tension leaving your body. Now let's play a short game designed to focus your attention and generate a feeling of flow. Now let's add some obstacles for you to avoid. Again, find and touch the spinning coins placed in between the obstacles to move to the next level. Your goal is to find rewards in the gaps. If you can learn to play in a calm and relaxed state, you can face many of life's challenges in a calm and relaxed state. The spaces between the objects are like the space between thoughts. In the gaps, you find peace.
If your mind wanders, bring your attention to the experience unfolding around you. The pressure of life can often take you away from experiencing the joy of simply being in the moment. Breathe in and feel the wholeness of just being alive. Oh my goodness, you guys. That was seriously crazy and I feel like I just learned a lot about myself. Not to be weird, but I feel like I just learned a lot about myself because I was way more concentrated and not distracted and my mind wasn't wandering as much because I was visually looking at these objects, shapes, lights, and different things that were, you know, distracting my thoughts almost to make me feel more calm. Okay, so with guided Tai Chi. A few deep breaths before I begin. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Bali right now. Oh my goodness. I'm going to do a five minute session flow. Oh my goodness, I can pick the location. Greece is the place I want to be right now and I know I can't travel there. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is insane. I've been seeing this guy in front of me. Breath in. Oh wow, and I'm just out. trying to do his movements. And I see where I should put my feet as well as I'm looking. I literally feel ocean. And she's telling me when to breathe as well. I feel like I'm ruining it by talking, so I'm just gonna enjoy this moment right here. Allow the energy to continue flowing. Being gentle with your movement. Focus on your connection to the ground below. Open up your chest. And it's time to conclude this session. As we that belly of oxygen. Slowly drift wow. You again. Holy moly. I feel so relaxed right now. It only took five minutes and there's so many different amazing locations you guys can choose from as well. Okay, on to the next one. It is now time for one of my absolute favorites of Supernatural. They have so many meditation options. All you guys have to do is actually open up the app if you guys want to find them beforehand, before you put on your headset. Then you guys can choose the meditation you guys want, save it, and then it'll connect to your headset as well. So that's also another way to do it. Or you guys can, of course, just find it right there in Supernatural on the Quest too. So let's get to it. All right, you guys, I'm actually going to take a seat on this pillow right there and really make sure I have good posture so I can focus on my breath, close my eyes sometimes, and then open my eyes to an amazing location. I want to be in New Zealand right now because, of course, I want to be in New Zealand right now. That sounds absolutely amazing. Shoulders down and back. Wow. Holy moly. You guys, this is incredible. I'm literally in New Zealand right now. As I turn my head, I can truly see everything behind me. The beautiful little lake over there. Focus on my breath right here. All I like to do is breathe in for about six seconds. Hold. And then breathe out for six seconds. Always breathing through your nose. I'm gonna try another location of meditation just so you guys can see other options of Supernatural. This is Love Meditation by Antonio Harrison. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely beautiful. Thank you for joining me for your meditation today. I want you to observe your breathing. Feeling as the oxygen flows in and your chest and belly rise. Feel the oxygen. Feel the air flow past your top lip as you exhale. We focus on the greatest gift one can give or receive. The most important factor in your existence. The gift that always keeps on giving love 
Love lies within you. And you always have an option to exercise love in your life. Love for your friends, for your family, and even for those who have done you wrong. Allow love to course through your veins, brighten your soul, and fill your heart. Wow. <laughs> that is literally exactly what I needed to start this week. <sighs> All right, you guys, I feel so calm and so relaxed. And if you guys want to check out more of the guided meditations, they have so many on Supernatural. While looking at a beautiful landscape, being fully immersed in my headset was like just exactly what I needed. I'm definitely going to be switching up my meditation um, that I usually do just by myself, closed eyes um, for about five to 10 minutes and doing it on Supernatural. Thank you again so much to Oculus for sponsoring this video. I feel even weird right now being like subscribed to my channel because I'm so calm and zen right now. I love you guys so much.